The focus of the S series is on the camera and performance, but the focus of the Note series was on creativity. Now the combination of these two, in my opinion, become the most complete flagship that changed the game of premium phones. Let's do it though. The phone weighs 228 grams, has a thickness of 8.9mm and a size of 6.8 inches. The frames at the top and bottom are completely flat and at the right and left are very curved, which is not an unfamiliar design at all and it is the design of the Note series that has improved and if you get used to not holding the phone from the corners, it is quite comfortable too. The body of the device is made of Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the back and front panel and on the frame it is made of armor aluminum. The back panel is matte and overall S22 Ultra has one of the most premium and durable materials and the feel of using it is great. But what I do not like about the S22 Ultra is the camera design, which I think the S21 Ultra had a nicer design. But it's white color, a matte white that contrasts strangely with the black of the cameras is the best color in phones in my opinion. Just great! On the front panel, there is a curved display on both sides with a very small selfie camera in the form of a poncho on top of it. The display makes up 90% of the front panel, which is a fantastic number, but curved ads cause unwanted thoughts, which is annoying. But I still like curved screens a lot more than flats. The color of the notaries, or better to say the life of the notaries, is located at the bottom left of the phone, which has a latency of only 2.8 milliseconds. But not just the low latency, but AI and the toxic sound effect of drawing makes you forget the pen paper completely. Unlike the S21 Ultra, the S Pen has the same small size of the notaries and like them supports air actions and even its performance in air actions has been improved thanks to new hardware and software. This pen will completely satisfy you in everyday use and even light graphics work. But if you need a stylus professionally, iPads or even Samsung Tab S8 series are a better choice. Just one thing you may want to know. The S Pen, like the rest of the Note series, did not break the IP68 standard of this phone. Another thing about the design is holding the S22 Ultra horizontally, especially for gaming, is very attractive and is extremely comfortable. The S22 Ultra display is a Twitch Dynamic AMOLED with WQHD Plus resolution and 500 ppi pixel density that supports HDR10 Plus content, color accuracy, black depth, color depth, contrast and everything on this display is fantastic, just a little, just a little white blunts tends to be cold. The refresh rate of this device is 120Hz and its touch sample rate is 480Hz and it is of LTPO2 type. This means that the refresh rate can be reduced to 1Hz. In addition to optimal consumption at greater speed, this feature helps to improve the gaming experience by adapting FPS to refresh rate. The brightness of this display is 1750 nits with the Vision Booster capability, which means that with increasing the brightness of the display, its details do not decrease at all, and no display in this field can be compete with this phone. As expected, there is a large ultrasonic fingerprint sensor under the display that is very fast and accurate, even if your hands are wet. The S22 Ultra has a 108MP main lens, a 12MP ultrawide lens, a 10MP telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom and a 10MP periscope lens with 10x optical zoom. But photos are 12MP by default. The photos with the main lens show sharpness and detail very well, the dynamic range is flagship and the HDR mode can improve it. The colors are also close to reality, but a lot of processing is done on the photos, which happens to be a great result, but that's why the photos are a little slow to capture. Also if you want an unprocessed and high quality photo, you can download the Samsung RAW camera app from Galaxy Store, which gives you 16 bit output. You can take portrait photos with the main lens and telephoto, which thanks to Samsung's powerful AI, separates the subject from the background in both lenses, 
done very well and the background blurs is very naturally. Photos in night mode or what Samsung calls nightography have good contrast and dynamic range and detail of the photos is very high. But the photos are not natural at all and it completely changed the light conditions and even the sky. Ultraid photos have a wide viewing angle, display details well and have a good dynamic range but are slightly softer than the main lens and only have a very small amount of noise. Photos in 3x zoom are very clean, wide dynamic range, accurate colors and details are also displayed very well. Photos at 10 times zoom are also acceptable and gives you very good detail. Photos at 100 times zoom are not good but with processing they give you usable details. Also zooming in on the S22 Ultra is incredibly stable. The attractive feature of S21 Ultra which means taking macro photos with an ultrawide lens is also present in this device and macro photos can be recorded very well and with high detail. With the main lens you can record 8K 24 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per second video. The stabilizer performance of which is amazingly excellent and you will feel almost no vibration in the video. And not only the main lens but also the telephoto lens is equipped with OIS. You also have video recording capabilities that for example adjust your video FPS based on lighting conditions. The S22 Ultra selfie camera is 40 megapixels with 4K 60 frames per second video recording capability. Unlike previous years, the photos have a great dynamic range, the face processing is well done and the sharpness of the photos is quite satisfactory. But I'd better say it again, the S22 Ultra follows the path of Google Pixels and photos take a lot of processing. In terms of hardware, this is what is expected. Its chipset in global is Exynos 2200 and in the US, China and Korea is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and has 8 to 12 GB of LPDDR5 RAM. Yes, we do not have 16 GB of RAM anymore, but let's be honest, who needs 16 GB of RAM on the phone? You might think that with the AMD GPU the graphics performance of the Exynos is better, which it is not at all and it has 20% lower GPU performance than the Snapdragon version, but you really will not feel much difference and the performance of both versions is great and S22 Ultra performs any heavy tasks without lag or slowness. Samsung has also used a large and new heat dissipation system which I cannot say the phone does not heat up at all, but in long and heavy use, does not overheat and does not have much performance loss. The memory of this device is 128 to 1TB of UFS 3.1, which has a greater speed but cannot be upgraded. One thing I would like to say in terms of hardware is that the vibration motor of this phone is great and has a great haptic feedback, but it does not produce much vibration at all during calls or alarms. In terms of software, this phone has Android 12 and One UI 4.1 when it's released and it has full software support for up to 4 years, which is the best Android phone in this field. I can now say that One UI is the most complete Android UI that even gives you capabilities beyond Google Pixels. Its personalization features are also extremely high. The battery of the Galaxy S22 Ultra as expected from an Ultra is 5000 mAh lithium polymer. Well, due to the number of more features, it is only slightly weaker than the S21 Ultra, but it still works easily in semi-heavy use for a one full day. There is no charger in the box and you have to pay $50 more for the 45 watt fast charger of this phone. The interesting thing is that with a 45 watt fast charger, it takes about one hour to fully charge. The S22 Ultra speaker is a stereo and tuned by AKG. Its volume is very high and it has a very good bass and sound resolution but not as iPhone. In general, in my opinion, the S22 Ultra is the most complete flagship and has no major problems. And although it is expensive, it is worth buying because you get a flagship that has all the features plus S Pen and you will not have a problem with its software for up to 4 years. Thanks for watching, if you like this video like it and if you like my content subscribe to my channel, goodbye see you in next video.